I'm going to start this video off with a disclaimer. I fucking love One Punch Man. It is one of my favorite animes going right now. It's one of my favorite mangas that I've been reading right now. I love everything about it. Uh, the, the art style, the, the story, the Japanese take on superheroes. I, there's really not a lot going with that. I even like season two of the anime, even though it was flawed as shit. It is still one of my favorite animes right now. I, I just, I can't get enough of it. I want another season. Like, I wanted another season like yesterday. That's how much I love that show. That's how much I love the property. And I really, really, really wanted to put that at the forefront of this video before I ever even got into the meat of this. And why I feel so strongly about this. Because Hollywood has a terrible track record with this kind of stuff. And that's just, that, that's, I have concerns. And we'll get into this now. Uh, apparently we're getting a live action One Punch Man, uh, courtesy of Scott Rosenberg and Jeff Pinkner. Uh, two guys that wrote Venom and uh, the last two Jumanji movies and right in the next uh, Venom. See, uh, Scott Rosenberg and Jeff Pinkner are set to write the live action adaption of worldwide hit manga series One Punch Man for Sony Pictures. Uh, via Rad and Aria Rad of Arad Productions are producing the film. These were the guys that were involved in the early uh, 2000s Marvel movies, if you'll remember them. If not, uh, look it up. Hugely popular both in Japan and around the world, One Punch Man follows the story of Saitama, a superhero who can defeat any opponent with a single punch but seeks to find a worthy opponent after growing bored by a lack of challenge in his fight against evil. Created in 2009 by Japanese artist One as a webcomic, One Punch Man quickly went viral in 2012. It was then published on Shueisha Young Jump Next with illustrations by Yusuke Murata. And I'll be honest, I like the old uh, one illustrations. They were goofy as shit, but they were funny as hell. If you get a chance, you can look those up. Uh, the old webcomic, please do. They are highly amusing. But uh, Murata's work is amazing. I love his illustrations. The series saw worldwide sales of over 3 million copies when the English edition published by Viz Media debuted in... The U.S. in 2015, the first and second volumes made the New York Times manga bestseller list and not really a milestone anymore. Nominated for an Eisner and a Harvey Award, not really, uh, those don't really mean anything anymore either, but still a great property. One Punch Man has led to critically acclaimed TV, anime TV series as well as video and mobile game. I have not touched any of the One Punch Man games. The hero nobody knows, I haven't touched it. I I'm, I love fighting games, but I love the 2D stuff. I'm not really that into the, like, it, it looks like Ninja Storm, the Naruto Ninja Storm, and I'm just not about it. Uh, I used to like those games, but I, I, I'll, my heart will always belong to 2D fighters. I, I actually play Dragon Ball fighters quite a bit. As far as animated games goes, uh, looking into trying Grand Blue next, but that's that's kind of off topic. Let's get back to the Variety article here. Insider says Sony is very high on the property given its popularity and the possi uh, possibility I can read of adding another franchise to the pipeline. Rosenberg and Pinkner have become favorites at Sony after pinning the hugely successful Venom and Jumanji's. And Jumanji the next level about the past December blah, blah. and that is the article now let's get into why I don't really believe this is a good idea um, I'll just throw a few examples out there and we'll start with Dragon Ball for anybody that saw that train wreck of a movie uh, I did I didn't go see it in theaters like I originally wanted and think it basically killed the optimism and enthusiasm for uh, American-made manga uh, adaptions, and then I allowed myself to feel just a smidge of hope when they announced that they were doing uh, Death Note, and then, oh, God, it was, 
I expected light Yagami, and I got uh, not light. I got it, 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 terrible. The only saving grace of that movie, the only reason to even watch it, is because Willem Dafoe's Ryuk is pretty funny. Other than that, that movie's just a shit show. And that pretty well killed me on all of that stuff at that point. Like, I, I don't want to see another damn live action American adaption of an anime, especially Bleach. I've heard they've been working on Bleach for years. They need to just stay the hell away from Bleach. Leave Bleach the hell alone. Bleach didn't do anything to you. Why the hell would you want to mangle Bleach? Leave that shit alone. And then Cowboy Bebop is just Netflix. Net, I, I've harped on this one and I just can't help it. Everything I've read, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to watch the first episode, but the everything I have read about the first episode or the whole series for Cowboy Bebop that they're doing on Netflix, it looks like woke garbage. It, it that's just the impression that I get. Could I be wrong? Yeah, I could be. I'm I, I'm gonna be the first one to admit it. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to make a video that says I was wrong. But right now, I am pretty confident that I'm not gonna be. And then they haven't even announced. They've announced that they're doing One Piece, and I really cringe at the thought of that one. Like I made a video about that one a while back. If you want to check that out, but. The point I'm trying to hammer home with these last few examples is that American directors, Hollywood people, they do not get anime and manga characters. They don't get them. That's why it doesn't translate well. They look at that, see the source material, and like, oh, I can just put my spin on this. That is like painting a mustache on the fucking Mona Lisa. It doesn't need it. Or putting a nose on the Nemesis. Why? Why would you put a nose on Nemesis in Resident Evil 3 Remake? It makes no damn sense. Why would you do it? I, I swear, every time I look at that shit, all I see is a damn sideways nose. It's ridiculous. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I, I was just, that just bugs the piss out of me. They put a nose on the damn Nemesis. I'm sorry. I apologize. That, that was uncalled for. But I, I think I've made my point with this. If you enjoyed Dragon Ball or uh, Death Note, I ain't mad at you. Good on you. I mean, I ain't here to argue with, you know, people like what they like. Did I like it? No, it was too far from the source material for me. But with the track record that I've seen on this stuff, uh, and Ghost in the Shell is another one. It wasn't. It wasn't perfect. It was kind of meh. But that's just another example of why they need to stay the hell away from anime and manga. Leave it the hell alone. It, it, there's no reason to mess with it. It's perfect like it is. It's the perfect medium for it. It's like I've heard they want to do a Metal Gear movie. They damn sure don't need to do that. That's. It's in the medium it was made for. Stop trying to adapt things. It's you, you don't do a good job. It's terrible. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please throw a like on it. Remember to subscribe, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.